Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Crack That, Turning Problems into Solutions. This is a revision video on mensuration and I really want you to go through this video even if you know all the formulas, okay? If you have a formula book or whatsoever, you have a book of your own where you have noted down all the formulas, whatsoever it is, try to go through this video as well because if you start discussing this with me, you would find that uh, it's much easier to remember now as compared to before. See, mensuration is all about remembering. I myself believe it, okay? But the thing is that we can still add a bit of logic to uh, the process of remembering so that we don't get confused in the examination under the time pressure. So keeping that in mind, I'll just be taking up the important uh, types of uh, figures. And after that, I would also be covering up few small type of common questions which we can surely add up, okay? So continuing with the first figure, the first figure which we can learn about is the cube. So under the cube, what we would be doing is, we would be knowing the certain basic things like the volume, okay? The TSA, that is the total surface area, LSA, lateral surface area, the number of vertex, faces, edges, right? You would be saying that. But the thing is how to remember or learn it, okay? First thing, cube and cylinders are, uh, sorry, not cylinders, cubes and cuboids are types of prisms. I paused it. I wished you people to speak in that blank, okay? <laughs> Anyways, if you didn't know it, you can know it now that they are types of prisms only. Cube and cuboid, jo hai, they both are types of prisms, okay? प्रिज्म की क्या खासियत होती है प्रिज्म की खासियत यह होती है कि उसके दो बेसेस होते हैं और दोनों ही बेसेस बोथ द बेसेस शुड बी द सेम पॉलीगन आइदर यू हैव अ ट्रायंगुलर प्रिज्म ओके जिसकी बेस ट्रायंगल होती है बट व्हाट काइंड ऑफ प्रिज्म डू यू फाइंड क्यूब एंड क्यूबॉइड क्यूब का बेस होता है स्क्वायर and cuboid ka base hota hai rectangle. That's as easy as anything. And we know that cubes and cuboids ko hum kaise differentiate karte hain. Ye to hum bachpan se karte a rahe hain that the volume of this goes as L into B into H. Okay. And the same case over here, volume is ki ho jayegi A cube because sare sides hote hain same. So length into breadth into height agar same ho gaya, to it's same number multiplied three times is equals to the cube of that number. So volume jaan rakna bahut easy hai. Now when we talk about remembering the number of vertices or faces, I khud bhi in cheezo pe bahut dhyan nahi diya tha. But when I started making questions, I realized that I can turn some simple numbers into difficult variables. Like giving you a simple question on multiply 8 into 12, I can write this question in the form of multiply the number of vertex which you find, vertices which you find in a cube and find the like multiply the number of vertices of the cube with the number of uh, let's say edges in the cuboid ab ye this question would have been very easy if i would have written 8 into 12 right but maine isko kaise thoda sa ek level upar chadhaya by changing it changing it into variables now you need to know this agar aapko ek examination gk or sa expect kar raha hai then this is also a part of knowledge only which you need to know so this is what you need to understand in the case of a cube let's say okay so in the case of a cube what happens there are how many faces there are six faces okay or ye bhi ek reason hai main isko prism se connect karne wali hu prism ki ek rule hai ki iske do bases hote hain and the remaining faces which it has is actually equals to the sides of the bases so, just like I said that the prism ke sides will be how many? Four will be because square and rectangle are cubes and cuboid mein, respectively. So, four will be. So, if the sides are four in the bases, then the additional along with the bases, I have four more faces. So, the total number of faces will be six faces. As you can remember, okay? You can remember that there are six faces both in the cube and in the cuboid. The faces remain the same. The edges remain the same as 12. And the uh, along with it, the vertices will remain same as 8. Vertices are the corners, okay? And you know that the joining corners will be same. So, it will be 8. So, you can remember this E, V, F, okay? for both the cube and the cuboid. Now, keeping this idea in your mind, surface area kya hota hai? 
सरफेस एरिया होता है द एरिया कवर्ड बाय दीज फेसेस तो अगर मैं हाईलाइट करूं इस पार्ट को और मैं बोलूं कि इस पार्ट का मुझे एरिया चाहिए द फ्रंट पार्ट का एरिया सो आई वुड मल्टीप्लाई द लेंथ इन टू ब्रेथ और द लेंथ इन टू हाइट राइट बिकॉज वॉट एवर आई टेक इफ आई टेक दिस इज माई लेंथ एंड दिस इज माई हाइट देन आई एम गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई लेंथ इन टू हाइट टू गेट द एरिया सो कीपिंग दैट इन माइंड वॉट विल बी द लैटरल सर्फेस एरिया और द टोटल सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ दीज थिंग्स ओके नाउ दिस इज द टाइम ऑफ <laughs> formula okay but we'll try to understand the formula if i'm talking about cubes total surface area then the formula says the total surface area is 6 into side square 6 into side square matlab jitne bhi sides hain unka square kare aur unhe multiply kar de 6 se because l aur b to same hai right so if i square it i get a square aur aise 6 faces hai mere paas 6 faces so i simply multiplied it Easy. Similarly, अगर मैं लैटरल सर्फेस एरिया की बात करूं सो वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज द मीनिंग ऑफ लैटरल सर्फेस एरिया यू नो आई आई फाउंड मेनी पीपल अराउंड मी जिन्हें लैटरल सर्फेस एरिया का मतलब ही नहीं पता था दे जस्ट मग्ड इट अप टू बी फोर साइड स्क्वेर द रीजन द मीनिंग ऑफ लैटरल सर्फेस एरिया इज दॉल्स वॉल्स ऑफ योर रूम उप्स इफ यू हर्ट दैट साउंड इट वॉज मी बैंगिंग द वॉल इट सेल्फ लॉल ओके या आई रियली डिड दैट सो दीज आर द वॉल्स ऑफ द रूम्स ओके एंड वॉल्स ऑफ द रूम्स इज द लैटरल सर्फेस एरिया दैट मीन्स यू आर स्कीपिंग द रूफ एंड यू आर स्कीपिंग द फ्लोर ओके तो वो ऐसे चार फ्लोर हो गए चार फेसेस हो गए तो ये फोर ए स्क्वायर हो गया नाउ द सेम केस इन द केस ऑफ अ क्यूबॉइड उसे कैसे लिखेंगे हम क्यूबॉइड के लिए टोटल सर्फेस एरिया हो जाएगा मेरे सारे फेसेस का एरिया और मुझे पता है कि फ्रंट और बैक का एरिया सेम होगा लेफ्ट एंड राइट का एरिया सेम होगा ओके एंड टॉप एंड बॉटम का एरिया सेम होगा यानी कि अगर इफ आई डू लेंथ इन टू ब्रेथ इफ आई डू हाइट इन टू ब्रेथ and if i do length into height and then i add up all of them and multiply it by 2 i would get my total surface area of a cuboid of course so keeping this in mind this is so easy to calculate right ab isi case mein jab hum four four surfaces ke liye aate hain that is the lateral surface area so lateral surface area would be equals to 2 times the breadth into height प्लस दी हाइट इन टू लेंथ हाइट तो दोनों केसेस में आएगा है ना जो हम अवॉइड कर रहे हैं वो है लेंथ इन टू ब्रेथ क्योंकि रो लेंथ इन टू ब्रेथ मुझे मेरा सीलिंग और मेरी फ्लोर की एरिया देगी सो आई एम आई एम एक्सक्लूडिंग दैट एंड वन मोर थिंग विच यू नीड टू एड इज द लॉन्गेस्ट डाइग्नल लेंथ ओके लॉन्गेस्ट डाइग्नल क्या होता है लॉन्गेस्ट डाइग्नल इज फ्रॉम वन कॉर्नर टू दर कॉर्नर ओके एंड दैट इज अंडर रूट थ्री ए फॉर क्यूब लॉन्गेस्ट डाइग्नल and the same thing for the uh, cuboid will be under root length square plus breadth square plus height square is equals to the diagonal and this would be in the case of a cuboid i repeat back so cube and cuboid to humne itne achhe tarah se samjha hai ki hum bhool hi nahi sakte ab ise okay now keep this in mind and after this we'll be moving up to next very commonly asked do you know that loves that typically loves mensuration questions so i expect them to give you mensuration questions this year as well so if i come to cylinder now cylinder mein kya hota hai do bases hote hain circular aur ek rectangle ko agar hum log roll kar de then we would be making the again the walls of the cylinder walls of the cylinder again strikes up to be what the walls of the cylinder again makes the lateral surface area एंड उसी लैटरल सर्फेस एरिया में अगर हम एरिया ऑफ द टॉप एंड द बॉटम सर्कल एड कर दे तो वो मेरा टोटल सर्फेस एरिया हो जाएगा यही है समझने वाली बात दैट्स ऑल वॉल्यूम कैसे निकालेंगे वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल्स टू एरिया इन टू हाइट ये आपको याद रखना है कुछ भी अगर याद रखना चाहते हो तो ये याद रखो इट विल हेल्प यू इन एवरी प्लेस एरिया विल बी एरिया ऑफ वन ऑफ द बेसिस विच इज पाई आर स्क्वेर आर इज द रेडियस ऑफ द बेस इन टू हाइट विच इज एच Okay, I assume that the height is h over here. Now, this is the volume. Very easy. अब मैंने क्या बताया था पहले? Curved surface area. So curved surface area CSA would be equals to the circumference into height. Circumference into height, and this will be equals to two pi r 
into h this is the curved surface area total surface area will be curved surface area plus the area of the two circles or the two bases we have the two circles will be 2 pi r cube and when you add it up to 2 pi r h you would see that the resultant formula comes out to be pi r all uh, we can you write 2 pi r 2 is also common into r plus h there we go that's easy to remember as well now what is the relation between cylinder and a cone the relation between the cylinder and a cone is that the cone has one third volume of a cylinder so if you want to note about the cone we just need to keep in mind that the volume will be one third of pi r square that is one third of the volume of the cylinder and in this cone we will also be considering something called as a slant height okay so there will be something called as a slant height over here this is the slant height jab bhi kuch bhi curved hota hai or slanting hota hai then we consider a slant height also and this is l and l can be calculated with the help of the height and the radius given as l square is equals to h square plus r square now keeping this slant uh, height into the consideration my area especially the lateral surface area would become equals to pi r l so you can simply remember this and adding up the area of the base to pi r l that is pi r l plus how many faces do we have two or one only one basis so no two here only pi r square if i simplify this i would get the formula of the total surface area as pi r okay and pi r will have a common of r plus l now this will give me a very easy peasy formula to remember now a very very important thing which i want to tell you frustum and all is also one thing but i don't really want to take up in this video bekar hai yaar abhi is last one day mein you are not supposed to remember frustum and stuff like that okay so just leave it for now whatever you know just revise that okay so let's move down to sphere so sphere what happens sphere is if you remember it's also a 3d shape okay to so, circle mein to bas radius hota hai agar main area consider karu to wo r square ho gaya but agar main volume consider karu to wo ho jayega cube so remember that the value is 4 by 3 pi r cube okay volume will be pi r cube jahan r will be the radius of the sphere similarly the total surface area would be the area covered by the sphere and that would account to pi 4 pi r square now what is the relation between sphere and hemisphere hemisphere the name suggest half of sphere but kya iska volume half hota hai not really to some people they say yes yes <laughs> some people say no it's not so what do you think i'll i'll write it down okay this is a fraction question for you people okay everyone out there the volume is 2 by 3 pi r cube do you think that 2 by 3 pi r cube is the exact half of 4 by 3 pi r cube answer me in the comment section if you are watching this video till here okay this is a proof that you watched this video completely <laughs> all right moving next we have the total surface area ab total surface area bhi hum half karna chahte the bilkul half kar dete hain but the moment i do it half i realize ki iske niche bhi to ek circle hai which is forming a base so i will be adding a pi r square again which will eventually give me 3 pi r square so the total surface area of the hemisphere will be 3 pi r square now prism ke bare mein to main bata hi chuki hu when i was explaining the cubes and the cuboids so hame ye dhyan rakhna hai ki jab bhi we are dealing with a prism in that scenario we would always be keeping in mind ki hamara base jo hai that base is having how many sides in it kyunki jitne bhi us bases mein sides honge eventually mere lateral faces bhi utne hi honge and keeping that in mind for any prism the volume is calculated by the area of the base which has been multiplied to the height of the prism either of the quantity will be given to you so you literally don't need to worry about it and prism ke liye i would suggest you that you just remember the lateral surface area that will be equals to the area that is length into breadth multiplied with the number of lateral faces which you have kyunki sare faces ka area same hoga so you need to multiply that area with the number of faces you have 
and total surface area will be lateral surface area of course multiplied with two times the base ka area this is a formula okay you need to keep that in mind now for the pyramids पिरामिड्स और प्रिजम्स में क्या डिफरेंस है पिरामिड्स में है होता ये है कि हमारे पास सिर्फ एक बेस होता है एंड इन दैट वन बेस द अब पार्ट इज अ कोनिकल पार्ट ओके द टॉप और द ऑपोजिट ऑफ द बेस इज द कोनिकल पार्ट तो जब सारे फेसेस मिलकर एक पॉइंट बना ले दैट इज अ पिरामिड तो उसमें कितने लैटरल फेसेस होते हैं हाउ विल आई अंडरस्टैंड कि मुझे कितने फेसेस मिलेंगे एक पिरामिड में फॉर दैट अगेन वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट द बेस के साइड्स ओके कितने बेस के साइड्स है अगर मेरे बेस में सपोज आई टेक पेंटागन और ऑक्टागन सो so, अगर वो पेंटागन है तो उसमें होंगे फाइव साइड्स और तो फेसेस भी हो जाएंगे फाइव फेसेस ओके कीपिंग दैट इन माइंड व्हाट विल बी द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द पिरामिड वॉल्यूम ऑफ द पिरामिड इज वन थर्ड ऑफ द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द प्रिजम दैट इज यू हैू डू वन थर्ड ऑफ द एरिया ऑफ द बेस multiplied with the height that will eventually give me the volume of the pyramid now what next do we need to do we need to find out the lsa that is a lateral surface area that is nothing but the lateral surface area and all the sum yahan par ek even like ek special cheez hoti hai ki it's not necessary ki shayad sara same ho ya na ho so therefore you just add up the lateral areas okay lateral area sum and uh, total surface area hai so whatever you calculate as the lateral surface area you are just going to add that up in the uh, area of the base so for the total surface area for the um, pyramid you need to add up the lsa plus the area of the base hmm lots of informations aap chaho to is video ko thoda slow bhi dekh sakte ho but i don't really want to increase the length of the size of the video okay one very important information the important information which i want to give you here is that in the question if they write just the surface area without writing what kind of surface area lateral or <clears throat> total then you have to consider that to be as tsa only total surface area agar kuch bhi na given ho to all right then so um, for another type of questions where you find the mensuration occurring hamesha yaad rakhna ki you compare the volume okay whenever you have two more figures coming in the same question volume pe target kijiyega you will realize that volume is will somewhere or the other help you in comparing the two entities in a mensuration question so if you found this video useful you know what to do it you need to like this video share it with your friends and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new to this channel and once you have done all of this i'll wish you all the best for your examination and for your preparation i'll come up with more such videos till then please take care and thanks for watching